Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome back to the channel. You know, it's your boy who anime king, and today we're going to do part four of what if Deku was a villain. Yes, part four. So, remember to like, subscribe, comment down below, and turn on that bell notification so you guys can see when I post. So, let's get straight into what if video intro. Oh, man, you left me alone and I broke every promise you had. Deku was hooked, Bakugo kind of dropped out of the ring but Deku grabbed him by the feet and pulled him back in. So Deku start beating the absolute crap out of Bakugo, just pummeling him face and punching him and punching him. Deku is, he's turning into a monster, remember, yeah, he hates everybody, yeah, this Deku is a villain, so yeah. But Deku just punching, yeah, and just punching and just punching and just punching. Punching Bakugo because when All Might everything is just ripping in his head that All Might said he will never become a hero. Yeah, because true All Might was pissed at him. Guys, if you don't know where I reach in this episode, just go and watch it. So all uh, lots of blood was on the stage right now because Deku would just punch Bakugo and punch him in the face. And then the everybody has the other hero saw what's going on, so they all said to run in the ring and the lady the announcer yeah she decided to use her quirk and make Deku fall asleep so Deku end up falling asleep so right now Deku wakes up back he was in a place like all uh, lots of heroes are in there and they decide to scold him yes they decide to scold Deku and tell him that if he ever did this again he'll be expelled from UI school yes he'll be expelled from UI school because Bakugo drops out of the ring, but Deku grabs him by the feet and Deku pulls him back in. So yeah, go check out part 2 and part 1 if you yeah, doesn't know what's going on. So right now they told him that he would get expelled if he did this again, but yeah. Deku doesn't really care. Because yeah, he doesn't really want to go to his school either. He's just doing what Alpha 1 told him to do. So right now, everything is go back to normal. Like Uraka and those on talk to him and ask him what happened and he just say he's tired of Bakugo's treating him like dirt like nothing and he's tired of him picking on him so Deku he said today I finally let out all my emotions I'm so tired of him so other from that this skip to the next day we're going to go be going to the stain arc yes the stain arc because yeah so right now after that everybody gets signed to the internship. I'm gonna say Deku Deku went to um Endeavor, yes, Deku went to Endeavors. Endeavor see Deku and the power inside him. So Endeavor decided to take him under his wings. So Deku went to Endeavor. Deku didn't really care for anything that much, but he did, he has to go to an internship. So he decided to go to Endeavor. So right now he meant shorter train under Endeavor and then Endeavor made him some training. So Endeavor is still gonna go to Tokyo and about yeah it's time for about like Ida. Ida in this one Stain is not on a part of League of Villain. So Deku can do anything he very much pleases. So right now Deku when they went to Tokyo, they did went to Tokyo and Stain find yeah Stain find either either find Stain. So Ida finds Stain and Ida side of challenge Stain and Stain ended up beating the absolute crap out of him and stab him and left him on the ground. So I'm gonna say when Endeavor told Deku and Shota to go back because he saw the no moves were attacking, they decided to run back but they're gonna find Ida in the alley. And they're gonna find Stain about to kill the cowboy here but they're gonna stop him. So Ida's gonna tell them to get out of here now and then Deku's gonna say no, no way, we will help you out. And then he just can tabo. This is my fight. And Deku says, Shut the hell up. What can you do in that state? Can you even move? Yeah, because Deku just get pissed at him right now. Because he just keep talking for him to go away. 
So right now, Deku decided to straight up attack Stain and Stain's getting him stabbing, yeah. Ended up cutting Deku with the knife and paralyzing Deku. Cut Deku with his sword. So Deku was paralyzed on the ground and showed to use his fire and ice to long distance range, yeah. But Stain ended up sighting them and Stain was running up on them and then out of nowhere Deku feel his hands move. And that's a okay front move. So Deku fly off his feet and Deku run to Stain and give Stain a giant punch in the face. Yes, he punched Stain right in the face. Stain ended up flying into a wall. Deku run up on him and start giving him a barrage of punch. And Deku punch him and he break through the building and fly to the next part. Deku run running there and run up on him. Deku grabs him by his shirt and Fling him down in the ground and Deku steps on his back. Yes, and Deku says, huh? What now? What can you do now? You're worthless. And Deku grabs him and lifts him up in the air. And Deku uppercut him up in the air. And Deku grabs him again. And then Deku grabs his fist. And Deku said, this is the end for you. But Shoto and either end up getting free. Yes, Deku deal with him rationally. Deku, Deku is, yeah, he's pretty mad. So this Deku member, this Deku have a hatred inside him. He's, he's not like mindless or anything, but he have a hatred inside him. They hate the heroes and everything. And Stain keep on talking about all the heroes is gonna be taking those. Oh my soul, Stain, that, that really get on Deku nerve. So Shoto and either tend to let him go there, but he would serve just and go to jail. So Deku end up dropping him on the ground. So they end up tying him up and they end up, yeah, bringing him out and Endeavor and, yeah, the, um, yeah, Gran Turismo end up going to Tokyo too. So Endeavor and Gran Turismo come and find them and they capture Stain. So while they're talking, the big giant bird came out of nowhere flying to Deku. He was flying towards Deku. Yeah, but he just flying towards them, but it's flying near to Deku. Like, he just flying near to him. And then, because it know that Deku is part of League of Legends, so it stopping mid it mid ear tracks, and it looks at Deku, and then it just flies up back in the air, and everybody looks at Deku and say, "What the hell? Why didn't he attack?" Deku said, "I don't know." So after that, they all went home, and the police dog was talking to them and thought, "Well, they shouldn't have used their quirks, so Deku just did this thing, but he doesn't really care." So after that, Deku went to all, yeah, he went to find all for one, but all for one was there, and Sugar she was there, yes. So he asked him, said Stain wasn't a part of the League of Pain, and he said no, and Deku said yes, he wasn't because I beat the absolute crap out of him, he's in jail now, and he said, what do you mean? He attacked me and my friends in Tokyo, so I had to beat the crap out of him, and Sugar just said, hmm. So Deku ended up walking away and went in home. So everything after that is the next day right now. The next day for them to went on these the resort, yes, yeah, the train one. So this is where the big question happened. Togurashi, yeah, Deku was told. Deku told them that there gonna be a big event and all my mind would be there, yeah. So Deku doesn't know, but all might is gonna come. I'm gonna change it so all might soon come. So all might is gonna be expected because last time he did last time the villain attacked. So all might is gonna come this time. Yeah. So after everything, Deku is in the mall before he takes the boss and then Togrash ended up coming right beside my city door and Deku said, What the hell are you doing here? You know someone can spot us, right? And he said, Don't be don't don't be foolish. Once as you don't make a commotion, we'll be fine. So this is the day we take down All Might. How do you feel? And Deku said, "Damn excited." So Togashi went to it. He ended up laughing and walking off. So they went to the resort and then the cat heroes and everything. Everything went similar. They cook and everything. All thing was on Deku. Mine was to beat the crap out of All Might. And then All Might is just watching Deku and trying to figure out how he got a quirk. But Deku wouldn't give him the time of the day. Deku wouldn't even talk to him. So everything happened like normal right there, like they went and yeah, the League of Villain attack while it was night time. So League of Villain attack, Deku know most of them, yes, Deku know some of them. So right now, Deku is going to like, Deku's just going to stay out of their way. So while Deku is staying out of their way, something bad is going to happen, yes. Someone is going to die, Koda is going to die because... 
they who didn't go up the hill for him yes they who didn't go up the hill to find him and the most of them end up killing Koda because he was going to kill him in the original he ended up smashing him yeah so that played out differently and then the league of villain yeah like they were in the place where I black the bushes all might end up going out there to find the rest of kids in the bushes then he heard <laughs> We finally find you, All Might. So the warp hero came there and he warp away All Might. Yes, he came there too. We warp away All Might. He warp away Deku. He warp away Togashi. And he warp away the other 10 villains. So All Might oh, warp away. No, All Might look around. He saw Deku and said, Kid, what are you doing? Get out of here. And Deku said, hm, You're worrying about me? Worry about yourself. And then. All for one look, all my look around, it's all for one, yes. All for one looks at him. And all my said, what? All for one, you're behind this, I knew it. And all my get a charge enough to attack him. But guys, I'm gonna enter right here. If you wanna see part five of this, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, comment down below, turn that bell notification, stay posted. But I'm out for now, guys. Peace.